All right, what's going on traders? Uh, got a real quick one here based off a comment that I got from Guy Redarez. I hope I'm, I'm probably murdered your name. If I murdered your name, I'm sorry about that, but yeah. Uh, all right, so what he wants to know is, uh, how can you set it so that the symbol on the dome will change with the symbol on the chart? All right, so um, to get into this, all right, the first thing I'm gonna do is show uh, the different ways to bring up the dome all right and basically there's two different domes that you can uh, use in Sierra chart all right one is uh, the dome on the on the chart um, which I'm not a fan of I don't really use the dome anyway but the one I prefer the least is the one that's on the chart because I just don't think it gives you enough of uh, options to, to you know to uh, do whatever you, whatever it is you're trying to do so but the way that you're going to put the dome on the chart is you're going to go up here to trade it's really simple and you're going to go trading chart dome on all right that's one way is you know of course sierra chart offers uh, multiple ways to do things but that's like the easiest way to do it okay so but we don't want that dome we want the the one that's separate from the chart all right so there's actually two ways to do that all right and one the one way is to go up here to file and we're going to look for open trading uh, dome for chart that's one way um what that'll do you just click on it and mine opens up on my other monitor um but yeah it brings it up and that's the chart that the dome will be uh paired with all right so that's one way of doing it uh, i'm gonna go ahead and close this one yeah i want to go ahead and remove and we're gonna go back to file the, the third way to do it uh is this other one here open trading dome now what that allows you to do is that allows you to pick whatever instrument or whatever symbol you want to um, you want to uh, have in the dome right so um, you can you got options here but I mean the best thing to do is to just open trading dome right so that gives you the same thing as I you know bring this dome over um, that's just two different ways to do it yeah you see so this dome is not actually attached to the chart or the chart book so if i click on the chart book then it'll go away let me close that real quick let's go to the other one all right so you're going to bring it up the same thing so no matter which one you pick it's going to do the same thing right so if you got multiple screens just that's just something to be aware of um that you know if you once you uh click back on the chart book then if you if your dome is hovering over the chart book it'll make your thing it'll make it disappear so what you can do is you can go to windows or window you can either click always on top so you know you can just move it over to where you can see the chart that you're trying to trade off of or that you're trying to pull the information off of and you know once you click the the chart now you, know, you don't have to worry about that anymore or you can also you're gonna click on always off I me mean, always on top you can also uh, attach it to the chart window so once i attach it to the chart window now it's a part of the chart book and i'm gonna make it you know I'm gonna clean it up a little bit so now once i click now we're now we're good to go all right so now to answer the question of how in the world do we link or do we uh make it so that if we change the symbol on this chart you see right now we're looking at enqu20 this chart also has enqu20 however if i switch over to let me switch over to gold all right wait for my internet to uh go ahead and give me some love if I can stop clicking and we're waiting and we're waiting and we're still waiting waiting some more now the beauty thing the, the great thing about Sierra charts is once it downloads everything it downloads it to your actual computer and it doesn't take up a lot of space so once it's downloaded, you know, we don't have to go through this waiting period anymore. It's just because I haven't pulled up uh, GC information in so long. You know, it 
it's it's taking some time to download all the information and it also depends on how you have your settings too so i got it it's like uh i think two i think i go two years back so there's a lot of data for it to pull into my charts all right so i'm probably going to go ahead fat there we go all right this when i was about ready to give up on it <laughs> and, and fast forward the video all right so now we're loading all right so now we got gc eq20 on the charts you see all my charts are linked and that it really is the question i mean that's the answer to the question uh but on the dome it's not so what we got to do is we also got to link this dome to the charts so if the chart is not attached to the the chart window you still have your options up here the file and um window and there's another one chart or whatever it's not whatever you have your options up here um but since the it's attached to the chart book now we don't have those options anymore so one thing we can do is we can we can make sure we clicked on this uh, on the dome and we can go up here to chart and we can detach so we get our options again all right so that's one way all right and what we're trying to do is we're trying to go to the uh to the chart settings that's what we're trying to do all right and uh, another way another thing we can do is we can go ahead and put this back in there right and now we make sure we clicked on it again we, we see that we're attached to the to the chart window the chart book right um so we're going to make sure we click on the dome and then we go back to chart and just chart settings i mean that's it's really that simple and now what we're going to do is i'm going to bring up my pen tool so i can make sure we see this all right now what we want we want to link it to the same number that the charts are linked to so uh you see that you can look up here in uh, the header of the window and you can see with the l and the number that we are linked to number three actually this is the chart number number three and the l is the link that we uh that we're using for these charts right so we're going to take that information and in chart settings we're going to go to advanced setting 2 uh, and this is for the dome we're going to go over here under chart linking and click on number three right and we're going to click ok and now you can see if we click on if we change it now let's click on the chart this time all right so uh, it didn't update automatically what I had to do was go back I'm using a quote board I'm using this quote board here and I just clicked on um, this quote this quote board is also linked to number three uh, to link three so I had to click on GC again even though I was clicked on this chart here on chart number three um, when I clicked on GC again then it synced with the, uh, the dome because I made the dome after so now if I go back to NQ we can see that everything changed at the same time see it's, the charts are e and q the dome is e and q everything changed all at the same time and that is how you will link the uh symbol of the chart or the charts and the dome all together so if that helped you if you liked uh uh the content go ahead and and uh hit that like button you know if you want to see more content like this i got way more things i can talk about sierra chart i learned a lot uh in the past and I'm, I'm gonna put a lot of information um about sierra chart uh, I'm, I'm gonna make a lot of videos in reference to sierra chart uh, one of the odd things that i didn't notice is uh there's not they don't sierra chart doesn't offer the best uh uh they don't have the best like they don't have tutorials and they don't have the best uh help with learning how to get started with their platform like they have a manual but you got to go through and read everything and and um, reading those manuals can not be fun so especially you know knowing me being an IT person by trade uh, yeah reading manuals can uh, get old fast so they could use a lot of improvement in that area so you know I'm going to 
uh, take the initiative and you know make a lot of videos based off of things that I learned and and I just like to learn that is there's so much you can do with Sierra charts you know I like to I've tried a little bit of everything except market profiles I think you actually you got to have the right data to do that and I don't have that data because I don't use it so that's probably the only thing that I probably that I won't talk about too much there is a market profiles um, that if you don't have the data you can still kind of pull it up in Sierra charts if, I, if I'm not mistaken however um, yeah I don't really use it so that's but there are other YouTube videos out there that talks about it so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and that's that's how you do that I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up go ahead and like subscribe hit that uh, that notification bell comment below with, your, with more questions that you have I'll make a video on it um, and all that good stuff and I'll holler at y'all later deuces <laughs>